All right, everybody. So I'm back, and this is Boker Plus Quake and Air. So let's talk blades, everybody. That's what we're into. Today, I have for you guys not just the normal Boker Quake and Air. This is the titanium version. All right, so Boker Plus Quake and Air Titanium Silver made in China. All this time, I thought that Boker was, uh, you know, just a German manufacturer and also an American, but hey, whatever. All right, so when you open up this box, you get this nice fancy zip-up pouch, which is always great. And another thing, you get your tactical silica, throw at your enemies and watch them perish. And it's also wrapped, and this is the first time I've ever seen this, Boker Plus with the... It was wrapped in their signature Boker wax paper, so you know they oiled the hell out of this knife. And that's okay. Uh, when I opened it up, yes, it was almost borderline drenched in oil, and that's okay. That's that's. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm not complaining about it. I uh, I just find that very odd. I've never experienced that with Boker knives. I've never seen a Boker knife wrapped in wax paper till now so that's really interesting when you open this up you get your two information cards oh, upside down <laughs> you get one in english and you get one in german in deutsch you get one in german so that's really cool that's if you want it or you can trash it along with your tactical silica and wax paper if you don't need it but this case is good enough to keep so i'm gonna do exactly that put those off to the side off you know where you cannot see it it doesn't get annoying so bam here it is really really nice presentation i enjoy it it is a very 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 sleek looking knife yes i had a chance to play with it and it's quite nice um there's a few things i want to touch on about what i don't like about this knife but they're just small nitpicky stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and get down to the nitty-gritty here's the knife you got vg10 steel I'll flip that around. It is a Burnley design. Lucas Burnley, the designer of the Quaken. A couple of other knives that I really like. You got three and a half inches of that VG VG10 steel, that Japanese VG10, and of course on the top, if you if if you care, Boker Plus symbol on there. So that's really nice. Very discreet. It's not a humongous amount of text on the blade, and I really do dig that. So it's there. And that's nice. Now, one thing that I have to point out about this is that I thought this entire knife, well, I should say entire, other than the blade, would be full titanium, and it's not. It's actually, I'm going to bust out the magneto. Here it is. Magnet. Um, it is steel liners with uh, titanium um, scales. So you got titanium here, titanium here, and a titanium spacer back spacer right there another thing i'd like to point out yeah so the liners are steel and the pocket clip is steel as well and that's 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 fine it's not a huge deal um but it's there <laughs> and it kind of gives this knife a little bit of weight it's still great it's still light so as you can see on the inside i don't know if you can see i should probably bust out the flashlight here so you guys can see it so it's milled out you can kind of see it i'm trying not to get too much glare in, in the uh the camera so you guys i don't blind you guys too much but you can see that the liner on the presentation side has been milled out for weight reduction but on this side maybe just one hole right there as you can see so it's supposed to be lighter than your average Quaken. At least that's what they're insinuating. And there's nothing wrong with that. I think that that's a really nice add-on. You got that deep carry pocket clip, which makes a humongous deal about that. Being nice and carryable, at least in my opinion. And of course you got your lanyard post or tube or whatever you want to call it. It's hidden in the handle scales rather than punched in the handle itself. And I really like that that is a fantastic win another little gripe of mine that i don't like about this knife in particular is the finish on the handle scales it looks a little bit a little bit rough as you guys can see on camera you can see all those scratches and dents and even on the spine of the knife you can actually see scratches on that as well does that affect the knife 
to be honest with you, to me, it doesn't. Um, it's still at a very affordable price point, and it makes it to where this is acceptable, at least to me in my book. Um, here's the thing. <laughs> comes in three different flavors. On Blade HQ, you got Coco Bolo wood handle scales. You got the G10 handle scales, which I was about to get. And then, of course, you got the most expensive at $89 as uh, your titanium handle scales. I chose titanium because I actually want to use this knife, and I want to make sure that it's a good beater knife. If, if I choose to have it as a beater knife, it'll last, at least for me anyways. Um, so I don't have to worry about babying it too, too much. You know what I mean? So three and a half inches, all that's good and happy stuff. Now I got two other knives to compare it to that remind me of kind of what it's coming from. And that is the original, obviously the original Quaken, which I have right here. And this is the carbon fiber handle scales. You know, you know what I'm talking about with the whole lanyard hole thing? That looks so much better. But hey, each to his own, right? regular uh, pocket clip. This one's got the deep carry. Boker. Start doing the deep carry pocket clip. Even if it's after manufacture, I'll still buy one so that way it can be deep carry. And that'd, be, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. And yes, it is the same length in both handle and blade. Here it is, handle to handle. It is the same exact length. And here it is with the blade blade to blade and yeah they're both the same length put that on there and it kind of it, it threw in the whole um ceo bit i don't know when i first heard of the quaking air and i looked at it and saw how thin it was i instantly instantly thought of the ceo from crkt practically the same thing except for the fact that uh it's boker and the, the blade is a little bit, uh, obviously, it, I shouldn't say, yeah, it's, 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 <sighs> get your bearings here, a little bit longer, blade's longer, handle is slightly longer, just because they got that little pokey bit sticking out, but that's fine, this is deep carry as well, and of course, it is tip down, I rather prefer tip up carry, that's just my preference, my preference, preference, so, with those three on there, we'll go ahead and get into the specs of this particular knife. I'm going to pull these two off camera real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and get into the length of the knife as well as the weight. You are looking at three and a half inches exactly of blade length and an eight and one fourth inches overall length. The handle length as it's in your pocket is close to five inches but it's at 4.34, so that's all right. It's so nice. I really do like opening this. This is really smooth action. I want to say that it's IKBS ball bearings, but I don't see the I don't see the stamp because here it is on the regular Quaken, right there, IKBS, and it has that weird little symbol right there. It's because it's supposed to show the IKBS ball bearing pivot, and uh, this one doesn't have that. So I don't know if they're doing that because the blade's too small and they're trying to save room. I don't know. Um, but still, I don't know. I don't know if it's IKBS. I'm assuming that it is, but it could just be regular ball bearings. I don't know. I'm not going to open it up. I'm not going to gut my <laughs> my knife. I'm sorry. I, last time I did that, it was a disaster. All the ball bearings went everywhere. and freaking It was really bad. But this is nice. The detent on this thing is not bad at all. I really do like it. It's not really tough. I, I don't find myself slipping on the flipper tab. The jimping on the flipper tab is nice and prominent, so you can actually get a good decent grip on there for as small as it is, and it works. Pops open, and you got a lot of real estate on that handle. You really do. For it being a pencil-thin knife, it is quite nice and it feels durable you got weight on there and it's just nice it's nice i really do like this it's almost like and i should have gotten it out it's that crkt uh oh my gosh i got so many i don't even freaking remember the name uh crkt damn it it's a fixed blade and it's got uh acid wash finish i try to remember what that one was and it's this little 
little guy that you just stick into your, uh, it's got a rip cord, you pull it out. God, I can't even remember the freaking name of it. Damn it. Well, that just came to me just now. It's actually not part of my notes, so <laughs> I'm going off script, damn it. But this is so nice. It's got that Japanese-inspired slicey, and the deep carry pocket clip makes it nice and ninja carry, sleek design, and it's just so samurai ready for me, and I like it. Oh, it's just, it just makes me salivate. I, I very much enjoy this. Very, very much. And it's not breaking the bank. This knife is 89 bucks. Uh, the G10 version is 67, 60 something bucks. The Coco Bolo is around about 75, I believe, 74 and change, but close to 75, 74, 95, something like that. I'm not into wood handle skills, and I wanted the G10, but I wanted to do something a little bit more because titanium's always, to me, a price tag on a titanium knife is usually over, over 150 to 200 dollars, and the price point of it being just under 100 at 89 bucks, oh man, I couldn't turn it down, and it was available. It's available. It wasn't freaking sold out yet. These are nice. Get you some, dude. Chick. Whoever. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you... You pterodactyl toaster? I don't know what you are as far as your sexual preference, but hey, none of my business, right? So this is a really, really great knife. I'm going to go ahead and... Before I forget, I need to take out the calipers so you guys know how thin this is. So with it being... 0 0.8 on the blade and on the handle is a 0 0.38 all right did i do the weight on this thing i don't think i did let's let's bust out the the scale here i don't think i did i think i was about to skip out on that <laughs> that would have been bad right so it is coming in at a whopping 3.32 still under four ounces at almost three and a half. Three point three one, three point three three. Still coming in at three ounces and give or send a little bit of change. It's really good. It's really good. And it being slicey, I really do hope that I can cut this paper right here. But we shall see. We shall see how slicey it is. You got that Japanese VG10, so. Oh, yeah. It's like a hot knife through butter. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. That's that's really good. Oh, no. Oh. You, stay. I got, a, I got my fan going right now. Ah! Pick that up, eh? <laughs> so... Whether or not you're looking for a, a gentleman knife, this could be a really good gentleman gentleman's carry knife if you're interested in that. Uh, me, I'm just in it for the uh, the collectability and the fact that Quaken, the Quaken model is actually one of my favorite knife designs. Uh, I have a few off Quaken <laughs> designs uh, other than the one you just saw, and uh, I really do like it. It's it's really fantastic. The Quaken Air obviously caught my attention. I only saw maybe one or two videos on it, so I figured, you know, this would be good to uh, get my little bit in, knowing that I'm ordering one for myself. <sighs> it's really nice. Really, really nice. Very, very happy with this. Now, the thing I have to say, though... Um, with it being what it is, they could have done a little bit better on the finish. They could have rounded out, not really rounded out, but they could have smoothed out some of these blemishes right here. Because I can, when I run my thumb on it, I can kind of feel it. But for the price point, it's acceptable. Uh, I'm not complaining about it. That liner lock is accessible. You got a little bit of jimping right there for the liner lock, so you can catch onto that pretty easily with the meat of your thumb and still be able to close it one-handed. Um, the ball bearing pivot is nice and smooth, really snappy action, and the detent on this thing is pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, it's not wanting to come out. So that's good. That is a fantastic plus right there. And, uh, the overall execution is, is great. Um, the only thing that kind of catches me on the wrong side is the blade on the spine being a little bit messy with the dents and scratches on there. 
So, like I said, I don't know if they just tumbled everything, <laughs> they put the knife together and threw it in the tumbler, but it's kind of what it looks like to me. Like, they just, they took the knife without putting the, the pocket clip on it, wrapped it up or made it to where this blade doesn't pop out, and they threw it in the tumbler to give it that finish, but also not paying attention to the fact that it actually kind of made a rough look on the outside of the, of the, of the handles that's you know this part that's sticking out and the blade itself unfortunately i don't know i'm just i'm i don't know if that's what actually happened i'm just saying that's what it looks like to me but a lot of good things about this knife it's nice and lightweight it's a little bit thinner than your average quaken which means it's it's probably a little bit more carryable to some people you got a hidden lanyard stub or whatever you want to call that in there that's great and titanium is nice and durable so you don't have to worry about that the look of it is really nice and that tumbled appearance i really do like that deep carry pocket clip with recessed screws i like that so the screws are not going to hang up on your pocket it should slide right in there and slide right out should be fan fine fran <laughs> should be fine should be fantastic that was my combination of fantastic and fine put together fan there you go yeah god it's so stupid anyways um like i said it is very much like the original quaken and the ceo had a kid and this is their kid so it just seems like that's kind of what it came down to so it lost a little bit of belly fat so what it's still really thin it's still really slicey and it's just like the quaken just a little bit slimmer still very nice they executed it very well and i kind of put that a little bit weird right there line it up blade to blade tip to tip and handle there we go so really good stuff really really good stuff um like i said you got to get it in hand in order to really understand what i'm talking about but it's really nice and at three and a half inches it's still pretty it's still pretty damn good. I, I would would I prefer a four inch Quaken? I don't think they have do they have a Quaken in four inches? I don't think so. I don't I don't really I don't think they have I've I know that they have older Quakens. Uh but they had like the thumb disc and the OS eight, which I'm not and it's at a price point at close to two hundred or around about two hundred bucks for OS eight. I was going to I was thinking about getting one just to have it for the collection, but 200 bucks for os 8 i think the only thing that i liked about it was the brown micarta that was on there uh, but it was kind of like a tan it wasn't even like a brown so it was a little bit odd i didn't want to do that and the pocket clip it seemed like the older the model the higher the the, the knife would stick out of the pocket it's just it's a little bit funny to me um the newer the model the lower it sits recessed into the pocket so this is the newest model and this thing sits pretty damn deep it probably is about as deep as it can get into the pocket so that's really nice and it being what it is i would suggest it being a deep carry pocket clip they need to do that all knife companies need to phase out their normal um pocket clips and put deep carry pocket clips on all their knives i think it would be fantastic i just dream of a world right <laughs> anyways VG10 steel, like I said, titanium handle scales and titanium backspacer. Um, milled out steel liners, deep carry pocket clip with a steel pocket clip. Ball bearing pivot, slicey blade, hollow grind, yeah. Tonto y samurai element, oh yeah. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and close this video with a big smile on my face. I had low expectations for this knife and they just, just blew it out of the water. My expectations are completely, they're, I like it. It's very good. Home run on uh, Boker for this one. So go ahead and pick you one up. This one's still available, I believe, on Blade HQ. They got three different flavors, like I said. And they're, they're kind of like budgety knives, but for those who can't really afford a Quaken, this is probably a good alternative. Um, but if you want one, you know, you can't afford one, but you want one. Anyways, go ahead and slash that like button, stab that subscribe, slice that bell icon so you guys know when I post new stuff in these troubled times. Please, everybody, be kind, be safe, carry responsibly, and I'll see you all fantastic people in the next video.